Today, we're buying every single pull bar in the world and testing them out. There's lots of different types of pull bars, but your first options are free, like the staircase pull up. You can just do this inside your own home, and it's actually a pretty good pull bar, but it can be quite hard in your hands. But you might be able to find a go outside. These bars can be quite thick though, so a playground could fix these problems. However, there can be kids around that want to join your workout, which will be less here, in a real calisthenics park where everyone is here to work out. But not everyone has this nearby, so this can also be seen as a $10,000 option. And not everyone has that budget, but you might have friends. And if you buy a $1 stick, you can create a human pull-up bar. And they get a workout as well. All right, you're probably not going to try this one out, but let's buy every single pull-up bar in the world. We're going to go more expensive and bigger every single time. We're going to test the bars to their max. Level two. These things, they're literally Quite cheap. Yeah. Literally 10 bucks. Let's do this one. But they're also a lot more expensive ones. And I'm actually super curious why they're so expensive. They're literally like five, six times the price. This one, 70 bucks. Let's buy this one. I wanted to see if this one is really better. If it's the, uh, seven times better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first pull-up bar, you you might know these things from videos like this. Let's hope that doesn't happen today. And setting these things up is actually pretty easy, so that's uh, that's nice. I need to spin it like this. We're in the bathroom. This is the only door in this entire building. I'm just scared. I'm just. Can I hang on this? Come on. I'm oh, hanging. I'm <laughs> oh, look at the bed right there. Whoa, it's... <laughs> oh, definitely, you want to be this scared during your workout. Close grip, chin ups, for example. Can you wide pull-ups? This what? looks actually very scary. <laughs> Can you put it down and actually do like dips? And then... Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Well, you secured it very well. This is scary. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, you muscle up on it. So it might also be good to know that this video is not sponsored by any of the pull bars we're reviewing today. So all our opinions are our own. And this is super scary. <laughs> Please subscribe. Also, we are close to 2 million subscribers. If everyone watching this video that's not subscribed subscribes, we would hit this within days. Let's hit 2 million before the end of the year. Come on, click it. 10 bucks, I'm actually quite impressed, but let's see if the more expensive version is actually better. All right, so version two, I mean, in terms of design, it looks pretty sick, uh, a lot better. <laughs> and I almost hit you in the face, didn't <laughs> yeah, I? <that's laughs> you did that with no doubt. No, but it feels so safe and it's not bending, right? This is key. This design is key and it looks sick. I feel so secure that I even dare to do oh. a fully. <laughs> Your head was above the sink. Oh. <laughs> you can do basically the same things on this thing yeah. as you can with the other one. Yo, the grips are spinning. That makes it hard. Aren't you untying it then? Oh, you probably are. This one is clearly the winner. Yeah, if I had to choose, I would definitely go for that one. It feels way more secure. There's also a lot more options for the same price, but if you only have a doorway, I would actually just go for the next level. Level three, the other door pool. We're gonna get this one. I've never tested this out. Something like that, let's go. Let's test that out. Uh, all right, so let's add this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got another different type of door puller bar, but the only thing is these hook on the door. And inside my home studio, they just don't fit. So that's why we're hooking them up here. So this took a few minutes to put together and it's basically just yeah. hooking it in. It's like 10 to 15 bucks, similar to level one. Okay, this works pretty well. Of course, the neutral grip. Do you see bending it? Yeah, ooh, you see a lot of bending. I have to say you could probably do a, a good workout in this and probably some weighted stuff as well. Yeah, there is some bending. Um, so maybe we get rid of that in a more expensive version. All right, so this is the next version, more expensive. This is around 20 to 25 bucks. You just have a lot more variation and two screws in the middle. So maybe the bending is yeah. gone. Well, that's bending. More variation, pretty decent quality, especially for the price because it's pretty cheap. I would 100% prefer this one. All right, so the most expensive well, version. Let's hook it up. It kind of works the same. Oh, oh, I like this one a lot. So this is around double the price of the previous one. Oh yeah, this feels like part of the door. The only thing is that you can't really do like neutral grip here. That's like the attachment system. No, <laughs> do not try it. <laughs> Out of these three, I would say this one for price wise, and if your budget is very small, definitely go for that yeah. one. If it's a little bigger, then uh, I would 100% go for a little bit more quality. And also, I mean, just more options. This is twice the price of that one. That's it for the door pull of bars. Let's go to the wall. Level four. It's gotta be the wall or ceiling pull of bar. Something like this. Exactly. Super basic, That's super it. cheap most of the time. 
This one is for your ceiling. Wall slash ceiling pull bars. It's actually orange three. Yeah, I've been using this one for years. It's still going strong. It's still here. going strong. I love it, actually. And and the question is like, why? It's very cheap. It's like 30, 30, 30 bucks, bucks. Around 30, 30 bucks. bucks. And it's super steady. I mean, like for 30 bucks, you get basically all the grips you want. Although I, uh, I just tickled the wall a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot kip. Like, so there's no butterfly pull ups here. Oh, oh. So you can use this, 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 this. This. So the setup time is like 20 minutes because you need to drill holes, but once the screws are in, it stays there forever. We've got one version for this level, wall and ceiling. They're basically the same. Uh, I do trust walls more than ceiling. Yeah, so if you have a relative small budget and uh, you have a wall and people around you allow <laughs> it that you put it on the wall, and this is a great option. Next one, it looks a lot like the wall pull bar but it also does not. Level five. You may have seen this one. It's it's quite epic and it's quite big and expensive, but the pull-up and dead bar, indoor and outdoor, is it worth the uh, hefty price tag? There's heavy pull-up bars around 250 bucks, plus shipping and setting up time. Well, you need to like drill holes in the wall, but once that's done, look at the system. I'm sorry. Boom. And it's pretty sturdy. You have a one cool feature of this. I'll take it off. You attach it, and now it is a dead bar. And there you can detach it, take it out. The next part, which is outside, let's you, let's, you do let's it. try it out. Let's do it. All right, version two of the pull-up and dead bar. This took around five, five minutes, minutes yeah. to set up, though um, it's quite heavy. But if you can park nearby with your car, then I mean, and we did that. that yeah, we did that actually. There's our car. Inside, I was impressed. Still, this is a, an expensive thing. This is the indoor and outdoor setup that we bought for around 250 bucks. Let's test it out. <laughs> oh, it's moving a bit. Do you hear that? It's moving a bit. Oh, but then this is pretty stable. Oh, oh. all right, all right. So versatility, you can do actually you a, can lot. Do a lot. You and of course, I mean, you take it off, turn it around, and you have a dip bar. And it works as well. Does that work? We also do legs. We're not skipping leg day. You can get the outdoor package for an additional 40 bucks. That's definitely worth it for me, yeah. I think so as well. You'll see if you use it or not. Level six. So it's not a pull-up bar, but you can do pull-ups and even more. And a lot more. I'm not talking about these things. I'm not talking about these things. I've had a lot of rings in my life. Let's get two options. The, the cheaper versions. These are like 22 bucks. These are real wooden gymnastic rings, high quality. 50 bucks, you can also get them for like 60, 70, maybe 40 bucks. Let's get it. All right, so cheap. Wooden rings, here we go. Let's see how they, uh, how they hold up. <laughs> These feel super light. Okay, all right. That's the good thing about rings. You can literally do anything with them. So yeah. this grip, this grip, this grip. You can do them a little closer. You can do them a little wider. You can even, if you want a straight <laughs> bar, just use the, the $1 stick. Oh, you need to hang the rings properly, but. The unevenness of the rings, that actually has to do with the uh, more expensive rings. Let's check those out. Okay, so the more expensive one, these are like 50 bucks. Why people like these is you can exactly see how far you've actually attached them and that means that you can level them perfectly. They are a lot better quality and a lot bigger, which is a lot more comfortable in your hands. As you can see, the rope is extremely long. The bands feel way better on the arms when doing dips, for example. But hey, very impressed with the 20 bucks one, though I think I would just spend 30 bucks more on high quality ones. I think these last longer as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you really have a tight budget, Rings, 20 bucks, maybe? Level seven, we're moving up. We're gonna go bigger and better, maybe? Yeah, so we move away from the wall support and that sort of stuff, the freestanding pull apart. You can get them extremely cheap, like 80 bucks. Yeah, 80 bucks. I highly doubt this is any good. I, I, I wanna can, test it out. It looks curious. dangerous. This is something similar, but yeah. like twice the price. 180 euros around 200 bucks, so we're, we're moving up with the price. All right, so the first freestanding pull-up bar and also the cheapest we can find, 80 bucks. And the setup time is pretty decent, was around 10 minutes. Look, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. It looks super Whoa. unstable. <laughs> Muscle up. No. <laughs> you end with your feet here. It's oh. like, maybe you need to do it the other way around. What the fuck? What? <laughs> You're too wide. Oh yeah, that works. I mean, yeah, true. This, works. this bar here, kind of sucks. Yeah, this sucks, like, the, the bar. <laughs> you, it is to promote LSAT pull-ups. Can you do rows like that? Can you do rows like that? Very interesting, and you just wanna... <laughs> <laughs> Forehead rows. These are the real headbangers, if people know that exercise. Can you do headbangers? <laughs> oh, does that work? Is that meant to? Is that meant to be the... How does that feel? Holy. Probably get my workout done here, though, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't really like it. Also, this thing is like, 
It is like super light. <laughs> you know what? Let's compare it to the next one. More expensive. We're buying a lot of stuff. And right now is the perfect moment for you to buy stuff cheaper. The biggest discounts of the year are live right now at all the big brands you see in the channel. Gymshark is having up to 70% discount on certain clothing. This is the only time of the year they do big discounts. They never have discount codes. My protein is having up to 60% off and with Co Brownie, even more. My company, Forge London, is having up to 70% off on a lot of items and free shipping worldwide. This will probably sell out. And the 90 day transformation challenge workout course. I will come back to this later in the video. Version two, this one is around 140 bucks. Setup time was uh, a lot longer. But I mean, look at the thing. It, it looks pretty epic. It looks a lot better. This literally looks like it came straight out of Pokemon and just evolved right away from the cheap version. Why didn't they extend? <laughs> yeah, okay, it looks decent. You can adjust the height. You can also do that on the cheap ones. So that was a plus. How's the stability? I mean, I would say it's a. It's better than the previous one. It's a lot one. better than the previous yeah. one. This is a soft grip. Yeah, it's, it's soft. Dips work perfectly. I would actually dare to do weighted dips on this. Yeah? Yeah, I would do weighted dips on this. Oh, oh! <laughs> we got another, we got another handbanger. <laughs> Why do you have these if handstand? it's... Handstand? No. Handstand. You can try a handstand, but I don't want to die. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Okay, do you catch me? No. So what the fuck? All right, so a next version of freestanding pull-up bar. This one was around 150 bucks. Setup time, five minutes. This one has a system which is insanely easy to just get rid of and just like, I mean, we can detach this right now. Boom. But does that really make it better? Because it does look a, a lot more unstable. But hey, Aryan, test it out. Ooh, it bends. You can do like neutral grip as well, I think. It bends like crazy, right? Oh, let's muscle up. <laughs> can, we, can we muscle? You can muscle up. Which also actually shows that this is not very high. You can go lower. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh, it is a bit shaky though. <laughs> you can also do like like this, right? Oh, it's pretty light, by the way. Okay. This is way more stable. Pretty sick rose. Oh. <laughs> way of transport. Okay, so the most expensive freestanding pull-up bar we have. This one was around 180 bucks. I bought this one for a challenge and we actually made this bar into a spinning pull-up bar. If you hang for 100 seconds, you win 100 bucks. Oh. What do we think of this thing? <laughs> yeah, we have such bad memories of this. Yeah. One. It was a pain in the ass to set up as well. It's it's a good pull up bar. It's a bit thin. Like we put this on there for the spinning. I like it personally, but some people do not like it. I like the uh, level 10 one more to so get ready for level 10. It's steady enough to to get that Elsid in there. It's just pricey. It is 180 bucks compared yeah. to the 130 bucks. All right, so our winner is definitely this one. This is definitely worth the extra bucks. If you want to take one of those with you, I would go for that one. You sacrifice some stability for portability, but I mean, but yeah, we got a lot more. Level eight. We're gonna go up right now. We're gonna get rid of the cheap stuff and the like small stuff. We're gonna go big. If you're watching this channel for quite some time, you know I've had this wreck for years outside in my garden and it has been in the in the wind in the rain in the sunshine everything outside and it's still working I'm super impressed. But there's also a level 9.2, which is this one. A full Smith machine, 1200 bucks. This is next level. There's a lot more than just a pull up bar here. So we're at my place with the OG Power Rack. This has been here for around four years now. It's around 400 bucks, and the setup time was actually a, a long time. Yeah, it's, it's a bit rusty, but it's still holding it's, up. Like it's steady as well. Like you can do, you can do pull ups, but also you can do muscle ups. So this is definitely a good option for a lot of calisthenics athletes out there. But you can also, I mean, Sometimes I miss this thing, but I don't really miss it because we got we got an insane studio, <laughs> which we were able to get because of you guys watching the videos. And I know some of you guys say I miss the garden. I don't miss the garden. The studio is insanely we epic. Our entire studio. That's epic. Is, uh, we we also got version two of this uh, in the studio, so let's, let's check it out. The studio. All right, so an 1100 buck Smith machine. This is obviously a lot more than just a pull-up bar. Smith machine is like weights, cables. If you're looking for a pull-up bar, but you're also still building your home gym at home, consider something like this, because you can do a lot of stuff on this. So for pull-ups, that's just like stable as hell. Muscle ups, lots of grips, close neutral grip. But obviously this is a lot more expensive than just a regular pull-up bar. Definitely. So it's actually really hard to choose a winner here because they're so vastly different. But our winner is the Power Rack. It is perfect for most people watching that don't need an entire gym. It is still quite pricey, but if you compare it to the other one, and if you're gonna put it outside, it is 100% worth it. But I do have to say this one is really epic as well. So if this fits your needs, check it out. You may think what's even bigger than this? Well. You'll see. Yeah, see, you'll see. Check it out, check it out. Check out. Level nine, now we're going big. A full park in your garden. That sounds super expensive, and you're not right. <laughs> we found this. This is an entire park in your garden, so you need to put it in the ground, and I'm really wondering if that's gonna hold it. 
or if we're gonna die. Yeah. But we would only die for only 270 bucks, which is not too bad. Oh, there's a, there's a picture. Oh, whoa! Whoa, it's big! There's a video! There's a video! No way! Like these guys, these guys are smart. They put it in concrete as well. Yeah, that's probably smart. All right, we put a full park in someone's backyard. Well, it can take like 30 minutes, but if your skills are not that great, then Ours it's like... not that good. <laughs> it's in the ground for like 50 centimeters, but it feels like... The bar is pretty nice, actually. <laughs> this looks like it would work for your training yeah. in terms of pull-ups and stuff. Yeah. It is a bit wobbly. You have to see it from the side. Oh, oh, it's swinging. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good, actually. Oh! <laughs> Okay, okay, that works, but uh, I definitely wouldn't be doing muscle-ups on this one. But we got a version 2, and that's bigger and maybe better. Let's check that one out. This is version 2 with the dead bar, so this is the full setup. This is 270 bucks, so the dead bars are an additional 100 bucks. And this took like another 30 minutes to build, but this is actually worth it. And also, we actually didn't get the entire thing. We actually missed a lot of screws. Yep. So before we test out the dead bar, so let's test out the puller bar and see if it is any yeah. steady. Yeah, it feels more steady, actually, yeah. Muscle up for reps, come on. Oh, okay, okay. I would train muscle ups here, I would. All right, that's, uh, that's actually... Worth the extra 100 bucks alone, maybe for stability. It works Out. quite well as well. I'll say. But I mean, look how steady they are. That's actually quite impressive. So, uh, what do we think of this? If you have the budget and you have the space in your garden, there's a lot of if, if, ifs. Yeah. This could be the one for you. So, you yeah. should definitely look at this one. Version one or version two? I version would definitely two. go for version two. It's way more steady and you have just a lot more options. You know, Marcus, come in, come in. It's his garden. These guys joined the 90 Day Transformation Series, which is uh, epic. You guys did an amazing job. How does it feel? Do it the other way around, because this is a heavy guy. It works. Okay. Do you like it? I really like it. You can keep it. Level 10. It is overkill. It is indestructible. If you want to go all out, this is a pull-up bar. <laughs> this is a pull-up bar. This is a pull-up bar. Let's check it out. No, this is not level one again. This is level 10, and this is actually your own custom-made indestructible pull-up bar. So why would you pay for this? It's like, you can fly commercially, or you can you can own the plane. This is my plane. Only the pull-up section is 1,000 plus bucks, and if you want this entire thing, it's like 10,000 bucks. But I mean the bar, the thickness of the bar, the grip of the bar, everything is perfect. It, it's not bending, it's just made for body weight exercise. You can do muscle up easy on them. For you, um, probably a little bit overkill, but who knows, you maybe have a very big garden and you would like to have your own setup. But uh, what is our winner? What is our favorite? That's a good question. But first, we're actually giving away all the pull-up bars we bought for this video to people who are in a 90-day challenge course. This is a full online space where you can have your own 90-day body transformation. Everything is laid out for you from diet to workouts. You just gotta join. We actually just got a message from a girl who literally does a pull-up on the same pull-up bar we reviewed in this video. And she said she got the 90-day challenge course and can now just destroy pull-ups, so that's pretty epic. So make sure to get the course right now, and if you get it right now, first link in the description, you get a chance to uh, win one of the pull-up bars you see right here, next seven days. But of course, if you're already in the courses, then you get a chance of winning these as well. So we're announcing the winner in seven days. See you in the description, check it out. We just tested out all these pull-up bars. Everyone's situation, budget, resources are different. You've seen all the possibilities, and these are our thoughts. Just pick the one that fits your needs and your budget, so now you should be able to choose the right one for you. Our favorite, rings. Price, quality, and all the very <laughs> but the expensive ones are definitely worth it. You can do literally everything with them. Yeah, I mean, uh, having a gym like this is pretty cool as well, I guess.